Hey, what's going on everyone? Thank you so much for watching another episode here at Investing with All I See is Dougie. Today, I wanted to share with you my top three picks that I am currently invested in. These companies are Inovio Pharmaceuticals, INO, iBio, IBIO, and VBI Vaccines, VBIV. Now, first off, with Inovio Pharmaceuticals, I wanted to share with you three top things that are coming up with respect to time. Number one, the FDA response to the clinical hold will be released sometime this month. Number two, we shall hear peer review release on the phase one clinical trials, which is independent of the FDA response. And we shall hear the external funding coming in place as well for phase two, phase three. And number three, we shall hear updates on the November 20th oncology event with the neuro-oncology where INO will be showcasing the INO 5401 for the tumor-related glioblastoma. And most importantly, we know that the INO 4800 vaccine for the COVID-19 is safe and also for it to scale up in global supply chain manufacturing as well as distributing it all around the world. We know the shelf life is one year with the duration of being able to stay with the room temperature. So that's great news. Now with iBio, we know that come Monday, November 16th, we shall hear updates with its fiscal report as well as updates on the business side with its iBio 201. So this is looking great. And the fact that we know that Charles Schwab is an institution that's invested in iBio. Just recently today, I know there's been a number of large institutions just investing into iBio and this is looking great for this company. And most importantly, with iBio, there's been people from Novartis, the CEO previously came from GE Healthcare as well as Becton Dickinson. So I, I just feel like iBio will mature as a company and the fact that it has the fast farm technology to produce plant-based vaccines using the collagen, this is great. And lastly, with VBI vaccines, today there was the liver conference where the company had showcased the results of its if it's a phase three trials for for the hep side B vaccine, that is already in commercial use in Israel, but it's great to see that now it's being showcased in the United States as well as soon to be in Canada. So we know that the demand for hepatitis B, the liver problem in Oregon for people, that's been a high demand to have medication for this cure. So with VBI vaccines, this company based out in Massachusetts, I feel like it can definitely make a run. So these are the three tickers that I am currently invested in. And I feel like in Q4, Q1 of 2021, we shall see positive proceeds. So I hope you all enjoyed this video content and just wanted to share with you my top three picks that I'm currently invested in. So thanks again for watching another episode here at Investing with All I See is W. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe for more related content. I'd love to hear your feedback and any questions that you have. Thank you so much. Have a great Friday and a weekend ahead of you. Goodbye.